Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anil and in this React.js video tutorial, we will learn that how we can handle array and display a list from array in React.js. So this video is really important for you because uh, from this video, uh, you can get a uh, lots of interview questions and uh, we will just get to the answer of all of these questions, right? Except one that will I'm just going to ask in the last. You can attempt this question in a comment box, otherwise I will tell you in the next video. So uh, what kind of question we can get, how we can display a list, what is the map function, why we use it and why we should use map function in React.js, why we cannot use a uh, for loop in React.js and uh, how we can show a list from array of objects, right? And uh, again, I will ask you a different question from uh, that, all these questions at the last, right? And you can attempt in a question box as I, as I told you. So this is my output screen and uh, now let's get start. First of all, let's create a basic array with the names so let's say it's a users right and uh, let's say user's name is uh, anil this is my name bruce then we can put here peter like sam right four is fair enough right so now uh, let's jump on uh, that question what is the use of map function? So map function is basically create a loop around uh, any array, right? But same thing can be achieved with the uh, for loop also, but we cannot use for loop in React.js inside return statement. I will show you what is the problem it and uh, what is the uh, reason why we use a map functions, right? So let's check the uh, functionality of both of uh, things, right? So first of all, let's define a student Oh, sorry users dot map and we can use a map function like this this actually uh, have a function as in parameter and here we can just simply put here console dot one and here I can just simply put here like uh, my name is and now I can just pass a parameter from it like item and here we can just print this item to show you in a better way i'm just going to break it in the lines like this now you can find out that uh, let me just uh, refresh it once now you can see that we are uh, just uh, getting the names in a loop right so that's okay there is no problem but same thing can be achieved with the for loop so just define a for loop let i equal to zero then we can just simply use here i less than users dot length and i plus plus right and same thing let's just use there like this except one thing we can use here uh, users i right and now you can find that the both things are actually giving the same output right to find the difference i'm just going to add here a four like this and now you can see that again just let me refresh once this is a normal uh, looping and uh, with the map function and this is the with the for loop so both are same but why we cannot use a map function the reason is return statement actually don't is not support uh, for loop with a jsx so we cannot use a for loop with the this jsx statement right i will show you first of all let's try to use a map function right and uh, let me just uh, simply uh, just use here our users dot map and with the same way we can uh, just take a div here so let me just take a h1 tag so that we can just show some bigger text and just simply put here item and this item uh, we can just uh, get it from here right that's great not an issue and here you can see that we can just see the list here right but let me just uh, take a step here and uh, let's try to use this for loop right if I'm just going to use a for loop here like this first thing is that we have to use here a uh, curly braces because uh, without that we cannot use 
uh, uh, JavaScript code here like this, right? So just uh, simply put here like code this and whenever I will just put it, then you can see that we got an error here. So all right, so this is might be some editor issue and all. So for confirmation, let me just copy this and paste it here and simply use here user and I and you will just find that issue same issue here right this is an unexpected token that's why we cannot use it right so this is the reason or uh, answer of my question again so that's all we are able to see the list here but let's say with the every user there is some uh, other information also what kind of information uh, let's say every user have a uh, email address and contact number right so just make me again const users and that time uh, as I already told you I have a name like Anil and uh, again I have a uh, Anil have a mobile number let's say contact and contact is like triple zero or triple one right and again have email address like Anil at the rate test.com but there's a problem right because this is not a how we just got to know that this email address and this phone number is belongs to Anil because they are actually different different items right so we cannot use that way so for that we can use here simply objects how I will show you so just simply put here a name let's say Anil and with that object I can just just mention here like email address like Anil at the rate test.com right and again contact and with the contact I can just simply put here uh, 111 right so that way we can use because now this is the complete uh, combination of uh, the one user's information and now let's say Bruce uh, let me just one more uh, Peter Sam and let me just change the name here Peter Bruce and let me just put here 222 333 three, three, and this is not real number you know right all right everything is great so now whenever you will just go on a browser you can see that uh, you are actually not getting data here so whenever you will just refresh or just after some time you will just get that object is not a valid as a react child found object keys name anil contact what it want to say it can say that i cannot print directly object because in object i have a complete three keys name email address and contact right so just try to print them don't mean right so if I'm just going to use your name then this is printing fine so now I can just simply with the same way I can just simply um, show it like name dot email address right um, but this is not a real way because uh, this is not just showing me any uh, proper format so I can do two things for that I can just uh, use some CSS here but second thing I can just simply use here table right so I will prefer the table because I'm not going to show some style and all here because this is a basically logical part right so just make a table here and close it just beside just uh, below the our loop and after that I can just take here tr and here I'm just going to take a td and let's say td have name email address and mobile number right so just uh, put me here email and contact and now you can see that uh, this is fine but uh, we have to use a table uh, inside a loop also right so what we can do here just simply copy this table from here to inside our map like this 
and just replace here names with the item dot name item dot email address item dot contact and now you can find a table right so yes this is not showing a border so let's say just use your border like one um not showing still not showing because uh, i just need to correct here border spelling this is fine so that's all for uh, this video we just uh, got to know that how we can show the list with the objects with the normal array with the map function why we cannot use the uh, for loop and all but now at the last i have a question and you can attempt it in the comment box which is whenever you will just showing this list you will get a warning here each child is a list should have a unique key how we can resolve this problem and why this problem is actually occur you can comment the answer of this video and uh, stay tuned with me don't forget to don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any query ask me in the comment box